Namaskaram, good afternoon and I am in Medak. I am going to explore the beautiful fort of uh, Telangana. The Medak fort, it is situated in Medak district in the Indian state of Telangana. It is about 100 kilometers from the state capital that is Hyderabad. It was uh, constructed by the great Kakatiya kings. This fort lies to the north of the city that is Medak and can be reached by road. So I have come by bike to the halfway and after that I am walking to the top. You can see the beautiful arch and this is the entrance to the center of the fort. This fort was built around the 12th century during the reign of uh, Kakatiya rulers. So you can see a lot of people have come here since it's been a uh, Sunday. Fort is well maintained. Hey, ma, Telga, India. Telga, na ikka na, meero. Zurul peta. Okay, okay. This particular fort was uh, built by Rudra Deva and was called uh, Metuku Durgam. So I am going to the top of the entrance, meaning cooked rice in uh, Telugu. So I have seen some drone shots of this place, that is the reason I am trying to climb it because we get a good view of the Merak city. So that is Medak city and you can see the big cathedral in the front which is one of the biggest uh, churches in southern India. Let me tell you uh, something about this fort which is uh, one of the fort very near to Hyderabad city. The fort was built sometime around the 12th century during the reign of uh, Kakatiya rulers. The great king uh, Rudra Deva was called Metuku Durgam, meaning cooked rice in Telugu. So this is uh, the second arch which we are encountering. It's a weekend gateway. Uh, when you are in Hyderabad this fort was later ruled by another great South Indian king the Musnuri kings so, this is the arch you can see the beautifully carved lions in the basalt black stone Thanks to the monsoon season, it's lush green. I'll climb to the top of this fort as well. And this particular fort was a command post of the Kakatiyans and later for the Munshuri kings and the Kutub Shahis. Well, the fort is in ruins, but still, compared to the other forts, it's pretty well maintained. This fort has great historical and architectural importance in Telangana. And uh, they have made a base to hoist the flag. So, this is the top view from the second arch. You can see the tourists going down and the beautiful Medak town. Weather is really good and uh, today is uh, 5th of uh, July 2020. So I need to climb more. Let me get down. Coming to the architecture this particular fort has 
three main entrances. The Pratama Dwaram, the Simha Dwaram, that has two snarling lions that we have just climbed right now. At the top of the entrance and the Gaja Dwaram. Or elephant entrance. That is a sculpture of two elephants. So we are going to enter the third uh, entrance, the Gaja Dwaram. So this is the third entrance. You can see the whole place is uh, lush green. The walls are in ruins. It's a bit humid though. And the third entrance that we are entering right now is called as the Gaja Dwaram or the elephant's entrance that has a sculpture of two elephants interlocked on the both sides of the entrance. The main entrance proudly displays the double-headed Gandabarudam or Gandabarudam of the Kakatiyas. Wood was used as a support for stable roofs. So right now I'm climbing to the top. We have some beautiful cannons. The 17th century cannons, which are uh, 3.2 meters in length. So this is the Gajadwaram that we were talking about. This is the beautiful Gajadwaram. You can see one person is riding the elephant and the other person is trying to climb it. So this is the Gajadwaram and this is the entrance. Good exercise for me. There's some stucco finishing at the top. You can see finishing has been done using the limestone. Wow. And uh, this is me, Ram Krishna. I'm trying to explore some of the beautiful places of Telangana. I'm exploring the ancient uh, uh, temples the ancient forts and uh, the wildlife as well so we have covered all the three entrances and when you travel from Hyderabad to this beautiful fort you get an opportunity to cross through the forest let me show you the other side it's completely lush green the cannons that I was talking about has a trident etched on it this fortress uses the natural topography since it is situated on a hill it has a maximum advantage with the rocky of what you say rocky face offering it a natural defense system there's a big lake as well unfortunately there's no water but uh, as the monsoon has arrived this lake used to be well, it was it used to be filled up so it can be used for daily use And uh, as per the internet sources, uh, nothing much is left 
in this fort just the three arches and the the cannons and huge rocks a beautiful wall so i'm going to the topmost point of the fort and at the top of the fort is a 17th century mosque built by the qutub shahis so this is the topmost point of the So I'm on the top of the Medak Fort. I'm exploring this place. There's nothing much to see, just a rock and trees and steps. Good thing is that there are three the three uh, entrances the arches which are good to see the rest of them are normal okay, so. so this is the jungle on top of the melak fort you can see the wireless stations the antennas it's there conical antenna going to run probably and I am at the Medak Fort this fort is in ruins I will show you a very uh, beautiful uh, uh, what is a, a view of the uh, tree which has uh, crisscrossed through the stones so Medak Fort is around 100 kilometers from Hyderabad so you can see here of uh, an old tree and this is a big pillar which was supporting the, the roof you can see huge uh, stones uh, being beautifully arranged uh. this fort was built by the great Kakatiyas So this is a beautiful uh, pillar with a very old, uh, what to say, with an old tree. It looks like a banyan tree, but it's not. No, it is a banyan tree. It is a banyan tree. Yes, I'm right. So you can see how the place looks like it's in ruins, and uh, since it is monsoon, a lot of trees are coming. This is the view. And this is me, Ramakrishna. I am trying to explore, I'm trying to cover as many places I can when I'm free. I'm very lucky to see so many places and explore so many places. And I'm showcasing all my explorations uh, through my YouTube channel, that is ARK Travelog. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.